resting bitch face. <laughs> have you not heard that about No, I have not. <laughs> I only heard about Tough Love about six weeks ago. Oh. John here with me in my house. He's going to cook me lunch today. I'm, I'm not going to cook you lunch. No, I'm not. You're cooking, cooking lunch. lunch. Oh my god. You're cooking lunch under my guidance. So we're going to put so. a bit of magic in your fingers. Okay. We're going to change the way you think about food a little bit. I'm only just finding my way around the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so it's I'm quite. Just it's, looking... It is quite simple. Yes. What are you looking for? I'm looking for all the plates. Let's so the deal is, on. you've chosen a recipe. Yeah. Why? Why have you chosen this recipe? This recipe. Well, I did want to go for something really unhealthy, and then I decided that I'm trying to just be a little bit more healthy. I know you're looking at me like to say, hmm. So salmon. Salmon. Salmon with lentils, this is all you need. Good, so there we go. Everybody thinks lentils have to be soaked. Yeah. They don't, but you've got to cook them first. Right, okay. Before anything else. What, do you have to soak some sort of beans though? Some of them you do, yeah. yeah. So some, some old, you know, beans you have to soak. Yeah. And if you don't soak them, um, what happens is you get gas build up in your tummy and you do popping off all the time. Oh, right, so that makes you, a lot of sense. With lentils, the thing is they are a pulse. Um, cover them with just cold water. they last water. a long time in the fridge? See, because I am single, um, I, I have to reuse everything and I keep loads in my fridge. I've got so many of those Tupperware pots. You, why don't you just do a little stall outside? What? Just... You know, looking for a husband stall with, you know, like food. You give yes. food away for husbands. Yes. So this first process is really important. Just water, nothing else at all. Ginger, the lovely ginger. I use my thumb mm -hmm. as a guide. Ha yeah. ha, here's Ooh. the first thing. When you grate something, yeah. just take the pressure off. It's like strumming a guitar. I'm just learning so much so right you now. you got strumming a guitar. This is great. You need an onion, which I'll do. The problem with recipe books is that everybody thinks that the first time you cook a recipe, it should be absolutely perfect. Yeah. I'm one of those people that buys loads of recipe books all the time and I love flicking through them and I, I say I'm going to make them and I do, I get inspiration from them. That's why I love YouTube and stuff now because I can just watch it. So, she's not really looked at my book at all. Strain it, mm -hmm. drain it and just take the spoon and just cut the dip, that comes off. Seed's gone. That is a good trick. So, and also I learnt that teaspoons get rid of the, um, the ginger. Outer. That's it. That's quite a good. Yeah. Peel the ginger. I just did that on my Malaysian television series. Did you? Yes. There we go. So I'm one step ahead of you. There you go. Right. As a history person, I can't. You haven't argued with me yet once. I'm trying to be polite. Are you? Don't do that. I do tend to analyse things quite a lot. And I don't know if you do it. Do you become very serious and very pensive? I can do. And then what happens is everybody thinks you're in a really bad mood, but all you're doing is just thinking. Yeah. yeah cool. Rest in bitch face. That's it. What are the bits you don't like about it? It's something you don't like about it. I'm pretty sure I like it because these are like my favourite sort of flavours. Okay. But um. But what? There's the but. I don't, oh God. This is like food psychology or something. Well, I think food is a lot of psychology. Yeah. Good food makes people really happy. Mm -hmm. Happy people make really good food. And as you said before, you're a feeder. You love to feed. I'm a total feeder. Well, there you go then. That's fine. Right. going to make a good wife. A good feeder. Yeah. You make a good wife? Yes. Are you single? I, I don't know, am I? She's single. Let's talk about salmon. Let's talk about salmon, baby. Then if you want to cook some more tonight... That's true. You might, you know, with your little stall outside, you find a husband's stall. F-A-H. F-A-H stall. F-A-H. F-A-H. Find a husband's stall. Find a husband. You find a husband's stall. I did actually uh, join Tinder again last night, which is an interesting... Don't know what Tinder is. No, no, no. You don't want to know. Okay, fine. Two sides to a piece of salmon, of course. Yeah. Skin side and non-skin side. Do you like eating fish skin? No. It's the texture of snake. I don't say that. I'll definitely never eat it. <laughs> oh, I thought I didn't. See, I thought I didn't have a problem with textures. You have a massive problem with textures. There we go. The, my best fact is about food psychology. Yeah. Is that what you do is you go to your favourite restaurant, go there purposely with somebody you don't like. Yeah. And the food will taste disgusting. Oil on the meat or fish, but not in the pan. See that? Smoking. Yeah, that's how it should be. I don't think there's anyone that I don't like. You've not found anybody in your life you don't like? No, I've got this real weird thing where I try and see the best in everyone. Oh, aren't you lovely? And then what you do is you just drop this in. It's going to fill your house with smoke. Do you want to shut the door between the... I haven't, got, I haven't got a door. All you do now, over, 
It's got a lovely colour on it. Yeah, I like that. It's a bit crispy. Like take your, your lentils. Yeah. Take a third out, because at the moment what we've got is we've got a lovely little bit of sauce. Mm -hmm. Sauce. So all you do now is mash it. And what this is, is the thickening agent for your lentil sauce. Give that a stir, Holly. Come round and cook for me every week if you like. Fish is a lovely thing, but what it also does, it comes in beautiful shards, really pretty mm -hmm. little bits. This is exactly how I plate up when I cook for myself. It's only me eating it, then it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, there could be your future husband. Well, this is basically turning does out it, to be a video about finding my future does, husband. Does anybody know that Holly is actually single? Yeah, I'm a single guy. So there you go. So now what you do is you take that, mm -hmm. and you pair that to the photo. Looks amazing. Can I eat it now? Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, it's my sort of food. Very like, good. My kind of food. Very good. My kind of food. At Holly's house. Yeah. Have you got a favourite recipe in here that I should try next? Is it for FAH or is it for something else? Um, it could be FIH. <laughs> I'm really making myself self sound great. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I appeal to you now that Holly needs a partner. <laughs> Next time we cook together, Holly? Yeah. We'll make dumplings. Let's make dumplings. We'll make dumplings. Sounds good.